What up, purple nurples? That's right, I called you a purple nurple. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're not going to do nothing about it because I just called you a purple nurple. What's going on? Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a good night. I need to drink some Gatorade. I feel a little dehydrated right now. Like, I, I'm just, I feel really weird. It's re like really weird. All right. Today, we're going to continue playing Control. So, um, I was going to say something. I forgot. Oh, so after the stream yesterday, I kept playing. And um, just so, like, I could get past the part that I was having trouble at yesterday. And uh, I, I passed that part. So, like, I'm good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I passed that part. And, and funny enough, like, um. I was that wasn't where I was supposed to be exactly. That was just a side quest that I like. I was getting frustrated on, but I mean, it happens. Stuff happens. It's fine. Let's see who's here. Uh, you're awesome. Welcome, Side Dragon. What blue anime fan? My boy bot. What up, uh, Cookie? How you doing, Cookie? And Salga, thank you so much for like beating me on my own Discord. That's cool. Bam, how you doing? And, and like, I'm not, I'm not like being sarcastic. Like, I'm serious. That, that that's cool. Like, you you beat me to it, and you posted up that everybody, you know, hey, I'm live. So, yay! Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Like for real, I appreciate it. For real, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. Shut up, man. Shut up. I'm not joking. I'm being serious. All right. Anyways, let's get to the game. Let me pull it up here. Uh, wrong button. Boop. There we go. Alright, we're good. Um, I... Did I close the game? I think I closed the game. Yeah, I did close the game. Okay. Which, that's fine. Alright. Let's get to it. Control. I really like this game. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Like, no, no joke. Like, this is... This is my kind of game. For real. Um, which I'm, which is why I'm glad, like, I'm, I'm still playing the game. Like, I'm still at it. So, all for it, man. All for it. Oops. I'm sorry. Did I break the desk? Aw. Oh, how, wait, why is that? I didn't, oh, that's not broken. It's broken now. That's broken too. I don't like your pictures. What are you going to do about it? Wait, that computer, like, disappeared, honest, like, for a second, honestly. It did. And it's gone now. I broke all your stuff. What are you going to do about it? So Resident Evil HD Remaster is free with Xbox Live. I like it so far. HD. Which one are you, Which one is that? Is that like OG Resident Evil? It's this one, right? Somebody mentioned that before. Uh, da, 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 da. This one, right? I'm talking about this one. The first remake. If you never played that... Oh my god, you are in for a freaking treat. It is fantastic. In my opinion, it is the best Resident Evil game. In my opinion. Oh, you motherfuckers. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I got I got your shit right here. I got it. Let's go. I'm gonna throw everything at you. If I could throw the kitchen sink, I would throw the kitchen sink, but there's no kitchen sinks in this game, and I'm highly disappointed. Whoa, can, can y'all just relax, okay? Yeah? All right, glad we got that out of the way. Catch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can, yo, you need to chill. You need to chill. Who's throwing shit at me? Oh, he's, uh... Ah, that's who's throwing. Okay, I got you. I got you. Mine. 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 Your soul is mine. Catch. I'm so glad we had that talk. Sean, what's up? Yep. Oh, okay. The uh, it, it's, it's that one. Gotcha. Dude, seriously, though best resident i'm not even like overselling it or nothing it is the best resident evil game that is what resident evil is supposed to be 
that and Resident Evil 2 Remake, I think, like, are the are the top games. And then Resident Evil 3, then 7, then 4. Uh, as far as, like, what a Resident Evil game is or is supposed to be. Right? And, and you know what? I even combine... When I, when I talk about that, I even combine Resident Evil 2 and, and 2 Remake together. Just because, like, they sit in the same spot for me. They're both number two on my on my top five lifts you know like it's just they're ju they're both just that good what about survival what do you mean about survival like are you talking about resident evil gun survivor like the og first person resident evil game resident evil gun survivor is that what you're talking about i don't want to be in there yet Well, looks like I'm going that way. You doing okay, Sean? Well, good to hear. Can I get up there? I want to know if I can get up there. I should be able to get up there, right? There's got to be a way for me to get up there. It's like, why would it? Why would it be there if I can't get up there, right? I hear you whispering. Look, look, look. I hear you whispering. It's okay. It's fine. Calm your tits. Can I kill those people? No, I can't. Yeah, pretty much. You're talking about Resident Evil's Gun Survivor? Or Resident Evil Survivor? Like, eh. I mean, look, look, it's a it's a it's a solid game. Not really. Um, it's 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 a game that needs a remake because it 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 has a it has a lot of potential to be remade and nobody would give a shit if if like they fucked anything up because nobody like is really attached to Resident Evil Survivor, right? So like it's not it's not gonna be like, oh yeah, you done fucked up the story for Resident Evil Survivor. That's not what people would would be like. And and I think that's that's a reason why they should remake Resident Evil Survivor. Panda Network, what's up man? Oh what the fuck is going Okay, I was gonna say this one looked weird. Like the way that it was kinda like changing, it was just weird. It was like I'm in your face. Dumbass thing I've done was everybody's done that. If if you've never played a Resident Evil game, you've done that. Like I did that, you know. Like in the original game, uh, I did that. Not not in the remake because I knew what was gonna happen if I did that. It was it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you know, I played the original, so I knew how it was gonna be if I if I did decide I was gonna grab that key. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna grab the key because it's gonna done fuck me up. You know, so be, only because I knew. If I didn't know, right? Like if I had never played the original game and I played remake for the first time, then it would have been completely different. You know, it would have been like, um, yeah, no, I, I, yo, what just happened here? All right, I want to construct charge. That's a new one. Charge holds up to three explosive projectiles. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I got you. I got you. Too bad I can't upgrade any of these. I mean, I could upgrade the mods if I wanted to. You know what? I'll f we can do it. Upgrade complete. I can't actually make them, but I upgraded them. Whoopsies. Wrong button. Random nerd, what up? Nerd. How's life been? Complicated. Why you have to go and make things so complicated? Uh... Projectiles spread minus 20%. Oh, no, no, no. I'm good with what I got. Uh, what about this one? Nah. Wait, wait. I got another. Okay. All right. All right. So we got more energy. Nah. I want I want to use something good. Like, give me health or something. You know what? That's good. I'll take the launch energy cost. That's really like super needed all right and then i just deconstruct everything else that's fine aren't we all well i mean look for me it's been overly stressful these past couple of days you know it's nothing that i can't handle but it's just you know nobody wants stress you know for for a bit like you know 
it was getting to be stress free for a little bit and I was happy. You know, so same thing like, you know, my wife, like we were both, I mean, we're not, not that we're not happy right now, just when things get complicated because like your landlord wants to raise your rent and shit like that. Yeah, it makes things very frustrating and yeah. So that's where I'm sitting at. In the turlet. I break through walls and you can't stop me. I want some snacks. Give me some snacks. No, no. Okay, no snacks. Hope it gets better. It, it will. It will. Everything. Again, there's nothing I can't handle. It'll be fine. Jane, how you doing, Jane? Whee! Listen to me. Listen to me. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? That's, you know. Why you have to go and make things so complicated? I see you when you're acting like you're somebody else getting me frustrated. I'm gonna get demonetized because I'm singing the song, but that's not really how monetization works. Oh, uh, you're getting a little bit stressed as well. Uh, yeah, I know the situation that, that you're in, Saga. Like, you, you explained it to me, so I get it. I went for the key second time just to mess around the area if there was a way. No, you're supposed to take a... Do you, wait, hold on, Bam. Do you want me to tell you what to do? I can tell you what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's entirely up to you, though, whether or not you want me to tell you. But I can tell you what you're supposed to do because, you know, I've completely destroyed this game you know that game so if you would like me to tell you what to do i can tell you what to do but that's entirely up to you nah okay so then i won't i won't i won't touch it i won't tell you what to do you're on your freaking own okay you're on your freaking own first resident evil game fair no that's fine that's fine i'm not gonna spoil nothing you do you do you if you need help for anything I'm here, okay? Like, again, Resident Evil games, king of horror, right? Like, Ali, my, my good friend, Ali B. Mac, has dubbed me the king of horror, and I take that crown, and I wear it proudly, right? Uh, for me, I've had a little stress, because my birthday's coming up. That's not stressful. Stop it. Eh, stop it. Oh, what you got in here? A file on the floor. Central containment. Whoa, what the fuck? What the- what the- Okay, hello. Hi. Hi, can you stop? That's not cool. St listen to me, listen to me. Go get him. Fuckers. Got you. Yo, chill. Get over here. You're mine. Oh, hello. run into Get away from me No 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 Where are you running? Stop. Listen, listen to me. 
You don't get to run unless I say you get to run. Fucker, there's a guy or a, a, a thing that's like healing them. Where is it? There it is. Whoa, chill. Gimme. I will throw everything at you. Oh, stop it. Oh my God, stop. Dude, look at the, look at these snipers back there. Look look at them. Stop. Are we done here? We're done. Ass hats, I swear to God. Look at they're gonna give me info to get into another program and help me get a job I like cause uh okay, yeah, cool man. Jummy! What up, Jummy? Hope you uh hope you're doing good. I'm doing alright. I'm okay. I for the most part. Where the hold on. Let me go this way. Um. Why did that... Why is that opening and closing by itself? What did... You know, I don't like that. I also don't like that. Yeah, we'll go here. Open. That's that's fair. That's fair. I he I hear them screaming. Medical wing. Your soul is mine. You stop. Wolfenstein was a really fun game. Random thought of the day, Sherry. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. And also, which Wolfenstein? There's like a ton of Wolfensteins. Actually, not as many as you would think but that I means still which one yeah Shang soon well, I mean who else would it be but also because you know she basically steals her soul so your soul is mine Also, Bam, I am so proud of you for playing Resident Evil Remake. Like, I'm so proud of you for that. Because, again, best Resident Evil game. And, and like, what makes it better is that you're starting with... I mean, technically not the original, but close enough, you know? Like, the original's 
it, it doesn't hold up. Like the the very very first game does not hold up because it's just it's too old and and it's campy dialogue. Like there's campy dialogue and then there's Resident Evil, you know. So it it just doesn't hold up. Like Resident Evil Two holds up pretty damn well. Like the original Resident Evil Two. Uh, the original Resident Evil though, like does not does not. Damn, he got me. Fuck, I got stuck. Fuck. There, why are there so many? Jesus. Why are there so many? Jesus. Ryan, how you doing? Uh, how long do I think Resident Evil 8 will be? Let me ask you a, another question to your question. Uh, is it Ryan? Or I'm going to call you Pandy. Pandy. Um, let me ask you another question to your question. Are you talking about first time playing, playing the game? Or are you talking about just on average? Like, what do I think... Uh, it's gonna be as far as like length goes like after after you've beaten the game like once or twice or whatever Because like every Resident Evil game can feel long on your first playthrough You know and then you go and you play through it like a second time and then you you beat it faster third time You beat it even faster and then by the time like you played it four or five times You have destroyed that game and made it your bitch and basically you can beat it in like three hours or whatever you know depending on the game and depending on on if it has chapters because oh my god do we hate chapters and i say i say we and i mean like resident evil fans right because fucking chapters remind us of resident evil 4 and i'm not like nothing wrong if you like resident evil 4 right that's that's perfectly okay um but what i'm getting at is that like Chapters slow the games down big time. Uh, and then you have multiple campaigns too. That's why, like, for example, Resident Evil uh, Resident Evil Six can't really be like you can't really speed run that. You know, just because like speed running Resident Evil Six is like asking yourself like do you hate life you know what is hitting me what is that oh my god can you not what is that Well, Evil Within 2 is a different anomaly. One, that's not a Resident Evil game. Evil Within 2 is, in my opinion, closer to a Silent Hill game than it is a Resident Evil game. Even though it's made by Shinji Mikami. Stop, stop, shoot. Whatever, man. I'm telling you not to shoot each other and you freaking shoot each other. <laughs> Alright, look, 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 look. I'm just trying to, like, pass through this. And you guys are just being dicks, okay? So stop being dicks. See? There's the fucking thing shooting me again. Oh, what the hell? 
Where did you come from? Why? Why? Get him. Yes, vomit out each other. Be my clickers. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But I'm gonna fucking do it. Is there another one? Can I go down there? I can, okay. Hold on, I'll get to your comment in a second. All right, let me pause it. Um, devs of RE8 said it would be longer than RE7. All right, All right let, me, let me be honest with you here. RE7 is not a long game. Um, RE7 is a short game. RE7 is an under three hour game. Uh, first time you play RE7 is about nine hours. And then every every time after that is like, or not every time, but once you know what you're doing in RE7, it becomes, it goes from a, a, a nine hour game to a less than three hour game. Um, RE2 remake, kind of same thing. RE2 remake first playthrough. Uh, seven to nine hours. Once you uh, once you get down to it, uh, you know, RE RE two remake becomes like a. I think the fastest I did was an hour and forty minutes, hour forty eight minutes, something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, all all the Resident Evil games, with the exception of four, five, and six, and and Revelations. Yeah, four, five, six, and Revelations. All of them can be done in. Anywhere between three to five hours. Um, four, five, and six just became those linear storytelling games where, uh, where, where you can, you know, you're kind of stuck and you got to do like chapters and bullshit like that and like, you know, quick time events and like it, it just becomes a drag. The, that's the problem. That's the biggest problem I have with four, five, and six. It's not that they're bad games. They're just bad Resident Evil games. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is a good game, but it gets boring. Um, especially if you played it a lot, like I have, where... Where, like, the first time that I, that Resident Evil 4 came out, like, I love the game. Don't get me wrong. I own the game on GameCube, the, the limited edition from GameStop. I own it on PS2, the limited edition. Uh, and then I have... Um, I have I have it on PS2, not limited edition, and then I have it on, um, and then I have it on the PS4. So I have four copies of Resident Evil 4. So don't get me wrong, I do like the game, but it's not a game that I revisit often because of how long it the game just takes and it just gets boring. Um, and the same thing, Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5, I have it on the PS3, I have the gold edition, and I have it on the PS4. Uh, again, Resident Evil 5 is not necessarily a bad game. I don't like it for two reasons. One, actually three reasons. One, Chris, I don't, I don't like Chris as a character. I really don't. Um, he's my least favorite Resident Evil character and Capcom insists on putting him in and everything, including games that are not Resident Evil games. So I, I, I'm just not a fan of Chris Redfield. Um, and then... The other problem I have is the AI for Sheva is really bad. If you're playing co-op Resident Evil 5, it's great. But if you're playing by yourself, Sheva AI is bad. You might as well just not give her a gun. 
and just give her the electric baton and then that's it and do everything yourself. Like, for real. Uh, the other problem I have with Resident Evil 5 is just the length of it. It's just too long. It just feels long. You can have a long game and it doesn't feel long, right? Like, you can... There, there's... The way for me, the way that you can tell that I'm enjoying a game that I really like the game and that that it's it's a overall it's a good game. The way that you can tell is that when I play the game, I'm playing it for hours. Like uh, the live stream goes on for like four or five hours. So that's how you can tell I'm really enjoying a game, and I don't notice that I've been playing for four and five hours. You know, that's that's the other thing to to keep in mind as well. It's like, you know, because I don't I don't notice that it makes it a good game, in my opinion. Resident Evil 6. Oh, my God. It's just I, I can't I can't. Um, We did. The, I, I, I don't know how long you've been subbed for uh, Pande. I, I don't know how long you've been subbed for, but um, we I like every year, every year, probably about twice a year. Actually, I, I have a Resident Evil marathon. Um, I go, th I run through all the Resident Evil games. Uh, usually, I, I do the marathon in October. And then I do the marathon before a new Resident Evil game comes out. So we got Resident Evil Village coming out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer your question in a second. I was just building up to the, to the answer. Um, so before Resident Evil Village, we're going to have a marathon of the Resident Evil games. Uh, so the last marathon I did... When I got to Resident Evil 4, I couldn't finish it on stream. I was just like, I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm just bored playing the game. Um, and then Resident Evil 6, when we were playing Resident Evil 6, we just did we did Leon's campaign and we did Chris's campaign. And I was like, I'm not I'm not playing Jake and Ada's campaign. I just don't want to do it. Like I don't like Jake's campaign, Jake and, and Sherry campaign. I don't I don't like that campaign because it's boring. It's just a lot of runaway. Like it's just the probably the most boring campaign out of the four, in my opinion. Um, even though like the boss fight is fun, but everything up to the final boss fight in, in, uh, Jake and Sherry's campaign is just boring. Um, and then you have Ada's campaign that like fills in a lot of the gaps for Leon's story. But other than that, it's just kind of there. So I just play Leon's story because Leon's story is the one that feels the most Resident Evil. And then Chris's story just to get the rest of the story. Other than that, it's just whatever. Um, hold on. Uh, so anyways, going to your answer with Resident Evil Village, how long do I think it's going to be? First playthrough, I feel like it's probably going to be a 12 to 15 hour game. If it's longer than Resident Evil 7, it's probably going to be closer to a Resident Evil 4 uh, length of a game. And Resident Evil 4 on a first playthrough is anywhere between 12 to 16 hours. Um, and then subsequent playthroughs are... I mean, they get less and less. Like, I, I had Resident Evil 4 down to, like, six hours and something. Maybe, like, any, maybe six hours and 30 minutes, something like that. Like, that's that's how often I used to play RE4. Is like, that was my go-to PS4 game was RE4 for a long time. Um, and so, like, you know, I had it down where I could beat it in, in six and a half hours or something like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly. And, uh, and so, like, I feel like that's probably where Village is going to sit. Is somewhere in the RE4 area, uh, being 12 to 16 hours your first playthrough, and then um, subsequent playthroughs less and less, probably all the way up until six to eight hours. So you probably basically like cut the time in half. You know that that's usually how RE games go, with the exception of six. Six is just god awfully long. Like five and six, you can't really speed run. Four, you can kind of. Especially if you do the glitch. I don't like doing glitches. But 5 and 6, you can't really speedrun those. And and that's like one of the reasons why I hate them. And Revelations as well. It's kind of hard to speedrun Revelations. You you can, but just because of the chapters. Like, chapters really... those That's always a killer when it comes to any game in general. Unless, like, the chapters are done um, where they're kind of integrated within it. Right? So, like, Evil Within... Chapters are integrated within the story, so it's not as jarring when you get chapter to chapter. Oh, come on. J can you just stop for just a second here, man? Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, so that's that was that was my answer. Long long winded answer to a short question, and I apologize for that. I just had to explain a lot of stuff as to like for my reasonings for things. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, it, it's I'm not the only person who does that either. Like my my buddy Jared from Avalanche Reviews, he does the same thing. Like you ask him a question, and he gives you a long-winded answer as well. I think that's just the thing when like you're you love a series or you love something so much, you're like you're gonna just talk about it, right? That's just how it works. You know, like I I can I can do that with Zelda. I can do that with Resident Evil. I can do that with uh, um with Final Fantasy. You know, like just. You can get me talk. You talk about the right game, you can get me talking, man. And that's that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's that's freaking I am I going the right way? Shit. Oh, okay, I am. P6 is what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Oh, sweet. Has that's has found him. That's great. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Um, he's causing this shit. He's like not not even trying to spoil just it, it's one of those things where it's like uh duh you know jared's wife reviews animes yeah she does dude um joe is is really cool she she is like both of them i i love them both freaking awesome people i mean i've like i said i've known jared since high school um i just recently met his wife the last time that we all hung out uh before jared got sick now that he's feeling better, we need to hang out again. Um, I got I gotta make a play date so that we can all hang out, go bowling. Maybe we do a bowling for charity type of thing. I don't know. Figure it out. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh shit. And we're back here. All right, then. Oh, somebody's freaking dying now. What the fuck? What's going on here? Nighthawk, what's up? Why is this the only thing I can move? That was a simple puzzle. Alright, somebody being murdered in here. That's lovely. It's been a long time since Dylan. Yeah, Ali playing near. She's been playing near for a bit. How's my day? It's all right. Things as hard for him as for me. Um, I met up with. Uh, they were even harder. I, I met up with with somebody so I can book some more shows. Um, and then tomorrow I have band practice, and then on Wednesday I'm gonna go see Buck Cherry, which is cool. The new director. I need to get inside. New director. Right. Uh. Well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the. Oh, we don't get leaks for RE8 beforehand. We, uh, we already did get leaks for RE8. Across the board, but you're the director, so. There's already been story leaks for RE8. I'm just not Founded touching that. Zachary like I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. Nothing like that. Repository for all altered items, I don't have time for this. Power, and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. 
Can you help me find him? Faden. Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated, away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. Uh, Buck Cherry came here this years ago. He played a local, local bar. Yeah, so if we don't it um, soon, they're going to a... Uh, it's apart. it's like a big bar that's around here. Um, no, my wife awesome. bought bought a ticket for herself, and I, I was like... I was like, why'd you buy a ticket when I could get us in for free? If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, Welcome to the family, son. Let's do that. Yellow fellow. They call me yellow fellow please, quite nicely. What's up? Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate Thanks, it. Welcome Winston. to Amazon. Can we provide any assistance at this time, sir? Is the TV back in its box yet? There's no rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the I have little, literally there zero much, I get idea about anything. What are you talking about? At the postal service. <laughs> I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh... Well, the person that I, uh, that I went to see today, she is, like, best here. friends with the lead singer from Buck Cherry. So she's the one who's getting me in for free. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Like I um to them. Did he say so? I was asking her like what time do they go on? It's and so she's like, "Hold on, let me call him." She she calls up the lead singer like with me right in front and and just like casually just like asking, "Hey, what time do you guys go on on What's on, the difference between objects uh, of power on Wednesday? and altered items? I have I have somebody Even asking like what time you guys go on. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like hell yeah, wing static and some may rain frogs. Some I'm sure it's supposed to be saving able, saving able. Okay. Give me a dude. I have, is, is saving able still around? Jesus. Changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining. I don't know. Knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work close? Like, I didn't know Saving Abel was still a thing. Oh, uh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. <clears throat> How did Can you guys do me a huge favor? Hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. Severely that was understaffed. That I got bumped up to like Severely. Put hours a day for another 10 years, and voila, supervisor. Voila. Wula or Wala? I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. Wula. Uh, I think we're done. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be Crazy bitch I'll and sorry. This. You also know, um, lit up. And so now I'm all yeah, lit up checkers. again. In my, in my bed, in my couch, in my bed. And now I'm all lit up again. You know that one. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. And uh, you also know Say Fuck It, which is, I love it. That's, um, uh, I forgot the lyrics for it. Hold on. It, it's a pop song. They made it into one of their own. <laughs> Hold on, it was, uh, I got this feeling on a summer day when you were gone. I crashed my car into a bridge, I watched, I let it burn. I threw your shit into a bag and pushed it down the stairs. I crashed my car into a bridge. 
I don't care. Say fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, they, they did a cover of that song too. A really good cover. Come on, I'll just throw everything at you guys. Except the kitchen sink, because they don't have that in this game. Shoot them. I command you, because your soul is mine. Can I go down? I can go down. Not that there's anything down here, but it's nice to know that I can go down here. Hey, what's up, SD? How you doing? I kind of pop as a group that's saying that song. Yeah, yeah, I don't... I didn't... I don't remember who they were. Also, who's Sagan? Uh, Saga, thank you for taking care of that. Appreciate it. What the hell? Is that an object of power? A uh, mailbox? Trying to stay up so you don't wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, it looks like all of these are objects of power. Okay. I just can't get them. You already knew about the RE8 story? Well, I I don't, so thank you for taking care of that. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan. One of your favorite sci-fi authors? Well, I don't know that. I don't care. I don't think she's telling me everything. Uh Dogecoin has not been moving, unfortunately. As sitting that like eight to eight one, which is fine. I'm okay with that. But I, like, I'd like to, I'd like it to go down so I can buy more. That's that's what I want. I want it to drop down. Company should take care of the games and stories. It's kind of hard when you put everything online. You know, like, how about they not, they not have their stuff connected to online servers? Is, it, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Huh? That's interesting. <laughs> he was the original host of Cosmos back when it aired in the 80s. I don't even know what that is, man. I've never heard of that.
get down. I'm not really a fan of going back and watching stuff from the 80s, to be honest with you. Thanks for keeping the door open, buddy. I appreciate that so very much. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. It's, it's an old school TV. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's cool. He's sucking into a vortex. That's the thing, once it once something's on the internet. They can't control it anymore. Like, it belongs to the internet. So, if something leaks online, it's online forever. You want to get it off? You got to break the internet. And I, I freaking fell. Oh, I thought I fell to my death. Okay. This is trippy as fuck. That's not working. Why is that not working? Oh, it's not working. <sighs> Wants me to jump down there. And here we go. You, you're mine. My, uh, okay, you were mine, you're not mine no more. There you go. Shit, man. Dude, 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 dude. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get over here. I require your assistance. Yo, why can't I target him?
Damn. Jesus. I'm going to need you to calm down. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we have mods for a reason, but if anything, I can just... Here, let me do that. Let me do this. Hold on. All right, now I just pinged all the mods. That's fine. Um, I can level two. Okay, so now this has become this game. Not a fan of levitation, to be honest with you. Just because, like, to me, it's kind of like a cheap way of doing things. While falling the slow fall and safely control the descent. Time to go. how good this game is i just don't like levitation in games that's my thing it's like because then the controls get kind of wonky okay dealt with the tv now i can find dylan although the levitation in this doesn't seem so bad like it seems like it's just to add more to platforming but it, uh, honestly i'd rather just have a double jump instead of like levitation Get over here. And 
And now you die. Because you're useless now. Ah, shit. I gotta be careful with that. Alright, so I gotta search for him on the fifth floor. God damn it. Oh, look, a swan. That looks like a death ball right there. Shadow, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Hope you're doing well. I hope you and Rachel are, are good. I've, you know, life treating you well. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like that. You're trapping me in here. I. It's not. It's not kosher. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Jesse. You know it's your mama. Are you there? Jesse? No, it's your mama. Working a lot? Gone, yeah, it happens. Isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. Look, it's Lex Luthor. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Somebody say hi and smack like and I appreciate it. Uh, about to release No Nightmares 2 in a couple days. I know. I'm doing alright, how about yourself, man? Ah, no, I fell. Well, I guess at least now I can limit fall damage. How did he break out of that? That's some crazy shit. All right, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jesse. This is what about him? I just want to Um, where do I need to go? Okay, so I can't get up there. All right. 
How's my day? Like I said, my day was my day's alright. Not bad. I feel like I'm supposed to get some in here. I don't know what, but I, I just feel like there's supposed to be something I'm supposed to get. Alright, have a good rest of the night, Vopro. Open. All right, so I got to go down here. Am I going the right way? Shit. Oh, hello. Open. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's question marks there. Why are there question marks there? Hold on. Ah, uh, of course. You know what? Get. Get over here. Gimme. There you go. Got you. Yes, yes, I know you're shooting at me. No. That's fine. Fast travel time. See, fast travel makes the world go round so much easier, especially like in a Metroidvania game like this. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to see something here. It's not letting me click on anything on my freaking Robin Hood app. What the hell? So far, the only progress I made was I took a shield off. Oops. <laughs> I mean, I can help you if you want me to help you. I can help you. More than happy to do so. Okay, listen, Dogecoin, I need you to drop. Okay, I need you to drop for just a minute so I can buy more at a really low price. Please, thank you. Please, please. I appreciate that. You know what? Hold on, hold on. 
me go ahead and set up a buy because I feel like it's gonna drop. I don't know when. I feel like it's gonna drop. It's just one of those things like I have a feeling. I've got a feeling. That's a nice gonna. Oh no 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 <laughs> no no no! I I forgot a zero there. There we go. All right, there you go. good. So drop and then I'll be happy. All right, so you want some help? Okay, so did you find the dog whistle? If you did not find the dog whistle, you need to go find a dog whistle. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah. That is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. I feel like that sounds ominous. Like Actually, it's not. Well, it's in the second right floor. Years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? Um, when you get the dog whistle, uh, a picture much. pops up at the same time. An and so you gotta take the dog Check whistle us. to the outside, uh, on the second floor, so like it's a sec it's an outside balcony area. And you gotta use the whistle on the outside balcony area. I'd appreciate that. Jukebox is kept just past Robin the corrupt, the Coinbase. Coinbase doesn't have Dogecoin though. So that that there's no like I can't I can't do it because it doesn't have it. Um, I use I use Coinbase for Bitcoin and Ethereum, but outside of that, like I, I there's, you know there's nothing that I can do about that. Um, although Crypto.com just opened up for oh, Dogecoin. Fuck, don't get me started on BlackRock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. So there's at least that. Codes, man. Those making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Your security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero. I wonder how high Bitcoin is going to go. Because today Bitcoin peaked at like 47,500. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, Which is nice because I sold. I sold around there. Previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers they retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, Sounds thresholds like are it. used just like any other tool. Lab coats my black rock from one, maintenance cycle. God, I have this song stuck in my head and it's driving me nuts. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink Freaking, it? Uh, it's a country Why song, too, of, of all things. Uh, yeah, a lot of time um, we find these little chunks Which is in it. funny, it's man. Pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense. But given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone 
for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I mean, seeing as we have already found Marshall. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Good luck out there. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order. I can't fly here? Are you kidding? Why does he keep wanting me to talk to him? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stone, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition. Wait, wait, you had a guy named Hazard? Problem is... What, like... They weren't here when Darling handed out the what kind of a name is nothing. Hazard? Although I did have a bass player with See, the name Funk worst, one time, so I mean, yeah, I guess that kind of happens. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the haste to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad no, back through I don't want to find them for you. From there. You find I'll them for your damn self. And I won't let them stay his. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy. You know? Alright, are you, are you done talking? Okay, oh, I don't have to talk to him no more. Alright, okay, perfect. Oh, hello, file. Alright, let's go. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the HIS signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Hold on, I'm busy. I see files. Must obtain. <clears throat> it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? Yeah, because he's probably he? the main villain. I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control. More Does he present. now? Huh. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Yeah, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay. Thought I had the I cap in my water, but I guess I don't. Jesse, be careful. All right. So now I gotta go find him. Uh, where is he? Oh, excuse me. All right, upper level. <laughs> Is it not here? Why didn't I never look here before for this stuff? Like, whatever. Hold on, hold on. Is he f higher than this? Is there an upper, upper level? Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on a need to know basis. Well, I need to fucking know. I'm an upper level executive, damn it. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leave? What's the deal? She must have her damn, look at these post its. What the hell? They're all empty too, or they're blank. Dude. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. 
gimme, gimme. Alright. I'm definitely not going in the right spot because... The freaking, like, I... Did you see that hiss they marched through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's neck? Hold on, where's the upper level? That's what Matt Platt's closet looks like. You know what? I wouldn't doubt it. To be honest, I would not doubt it. That man has like so many thoughts going through his mind at all times. It's freaking crazy. PS5 version looks so good. Well, this isn't like we're not even doing the graphics mode. This is all there he is. Um, this is uh, performance mode right now. Yep, that he's the voice. You know, I've seen this before. In Dead Space. Mm. I want to switch performance mode on because I want to see what, like... Alright, graphics. I want to switch graphics mode on. Like, it just drops frames so much, but... I want to see how this looks with graphics mode on. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Oh, good. You got the dog whistle. Okay. Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Oh, lovely. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You. You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it. Orange peel. Shit. Shit. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. Jesus. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. My question. How the fuck does he know that it's called the hiss? He's been locked up. Like, he's been locked up this whole time. Okay. If he's been locked up this whole time, this whole damn time, 
And she is the one who made up the name The Hiss. How the fuck does he know that it's called The Hiss? There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I need your worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Game plot. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. Maybe their minds are connected. No, they're not. Her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. It does remind me of Split. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a one through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. It keeps on showing me like a triangle, so like my brother, please. It means that there's still more to say. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. Wait, are they being like and then it shifted again. fourth wall breaking there? Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl 
from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Jesus, how much is there to say? Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. All right, side dragon, no problem, dude. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. He was horrifying. Extremely also, horrifying. Many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not Jesus. As long as I'm alive. More? Oh my god. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Bam, no problem. I'll catch you later, dude. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real like reality and reality now feels like a dream maybe it's all a dream it is such a good job with the motion capture for maybe for this character real. dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams i was in a dark place and there was a dark man there his name was mr door and he told me that there are many worlds side by side on top of each other some inside of others sounds like exception in one world there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop in another world the cop was real Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time endlessly shifting between them I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. I've never I've never finished this game, no. I mean, I, clearly Saga's never played it, but I've never... Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. The fuck? Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay. And that's all I have to say about that. That's good. Yeah, it's free on PlayStation Plus. There? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. Okay, we're done.
Find the prime candidate program. What the fuck? Squeaky clean, how you doing? How's this game? I I enjoy it quite a bit, or else I wouldn't be playing it still. So I can ground slam. Okay, that's that's a lot of abilities. I'm not gonna lie, that is way too many abilities. Jukebox tokens. Okay, I can make them. Interesting. Oh, good. Good. I'm going to upgrade the shatter. Shatter. Yeah, let's do that. Just because I use that one the most. Um, could upgrade the grip, too. Nah, I'll wait. I'll upgrade spin. Good, bro. How are you? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. As all right as I can be. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. So we got reload speed. That's extremely useful. Um, projectile spread. See, I don't want that one. I want this one. Give me that one. I'll take the reload speed. Evade energy cost. Um, ooh, that is a big... Can I stack them? Oh, they can stack. Okay, hold on, hold on. <gasps> that is sick. Um, that means I get 100% health on one elemental pickup. That is sick. Okay, hold on, hold on. That was going to fast travel. All right, where am I going? All right, containment. Uh, logistics, let's go. His performance mode is the best choice. Yeah, for like actually playing. Just if you don't mind the 30 FPS drop, uh, go go watch. If you haven't done so yet, go watch the comparison video I did. I, I put up a comparison video: performance mode versus graphics mode for control on PS5. <laughs> so you not watch that? Go watch that. I'm going, the wrong, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, come on! Where is it? Got you.
Would I compare this game to Spider-Man? Not even close. They have two very different games. This is a Metroidvania style game. Just in a 3D platform. Am I going the wrong way? Looks like I gotta go to the security section. Okay. Hold hold on though. Hold on. I did get the clearance. Okay. Seems a lot like Infamous. I never played Infamous. I have Infamous too. But just never got around to playing it. Storm my life with a lot of games though. Like I have a lot of games that I've never touched. Oh, okay. Just gonna turn that on. Nice. Saying sounds really good. Um, I've never played uh, pro um, fuck. What what is it? uh prototype? Because who's had the best or no face? Wait, what? Oh, stop it. Keep saying that. P6 and P7. Who's P7? Am I P7? I don't want to be P7. You can be P7. as ball there you go we done here uh no that that's a no
Down, boy. One thing for sure, I'm glad I fixed Ronnie's issue with the server. What was his server? Don't make cry five and Metal Gear Phantom Pain are my favorite games. Um, D uh, DMC five was fine. It was all right. I had fun. I had fun playing it. I played it on live stream. It was, it was fun. No real complaints. You know, it's just solid game. What is wrong with this place? You ever play a game and like you, you see yourself like moving your head to like see the game a little bit normal? Not a lot of these emojis. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if any of you guys have ever done that, but like that's that's what I'm doing right now. Is like uh uh huh uh huh okay um. Apparently, I'm in the right spot. Hannah Banana, try near a time without some masterpiece. Oh, you mean this game? You mean this game that I've had sealed forever? Like, yeah, I've never, never opened it before. So, yeah. You, you mean that game? I have a lot of games I've never opened. Just don't have time. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming to me, that's, that's saying something. It's a must play. Boy, Dylan listen, Dayton. listen. Prime candidate six. I, the fact that I just started to like, the fact that I got to, uh, to play this game, you know, like is is enough for right now. Like I have this game. I have Atelier Riser two that I still need to keep playing. I have East Nine. I don't need to play this. I could play it off camera. East Nine. I probably will play East Nine off camera. Like uh, NIS America didn't send me this game. I actually bought this game. Um, So, yes. you know, like I have a lot of games. I still need to finish playing Horizon Zero Dawn before Horizon Forbidden West comes out, but I got time. Um, I can binge that game when Horizon Forbidden West gets announced and all that stuff. Uh, I was playing Hitman 3. I enjoyed it, but I, I stopped playing it just because, I don't know, I just, something about it. Like, I, I enjoyed it. it just For some reason, I just couldn't keep playing it. Dylan has so much. He's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys. You get to learn the skill to fly and turn the enemy to friendly at some point. He's exceptional. Uh, they are not collected. Uh, flying is. Flying is story. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. Uh, I can't remember if turning the enemies into friendly is. It was if it was a story, if it was a collectible, I don't remember. We will make this work. We'll make yeah, this I'm work. not a fan of the flying. Flying is not the greatest. It's not bad, but it's just kind of. I'd rather have double jump. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. She's P7, right? All the times I felt paranoid. Yeah, she's P7. I was right. The bureau could have given me the Well, we playing Persona 5 Phantom Show. Hell yeah, I'm going to be playing Persona 5 Phantom Show. Look, look. This month This month is too full with games. Okay, it's way too full. We got Little Nightmares 2. We had, like I said, this uh Atelier Riser 2, um Persona 5 Phantom Strikers. We have uh Bravely Default 2. I need to play Bravely Default for you guys. So, yeah. First, I gotta set up the freaking 
uh, emulator to be able to play Bravely Default for you guys. And then I'll play Bra Bravely Default. And then maybe Bravely Second. Like, I'm running out of time for, for stuff, you know? I don't need to play this. I want to play this. And that's why we're playing it. You know? Um, Persona 5 Phantom Strikers, I need to play that. Bravely Default 2, I need to play that. Why do I need to play that? Because, you know, freaking uh, content creator, you know? Mine. I love that I stack the healing. So like one heal or one little of the element things and I heal completely. It's great. Do I think there should be a Last of Us 3? Only if they give us a brand new story. I, I don't I don't want I don't want a continuation of the story. I want new characters, new stories, whatever. And then maybe like in Last of Us 4, if you want to bring Ellie and Abby back, then fine. Give us give us some time. You know? Uh Saga, the game sold well, man. It, it did. Like people hate on it, but the game sold well. Yeah, that's about right. I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different one, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this the house? Nah, this this is the cell, buddy. Your soul is mine. deserve game of the year no i don't think it did i don't um i actually feel like last of us part two did, did deserve game of the year ghost of tsushima didn't deserve it we're going back home uh for a number of reasons the techno uh the techni i can't speak right now started there and it's the technological achievements that last of us part two had no. alone it like it's incredible Stuff like that is what changes the way that games are made down the line. And, like, you, you have to understand that. Oh, you still can't enter that. Where are you? Ah, you son of a bitch.
Any more? Those things. Fantastic. And I fucking broke my legs. Go down there and deal with those freaking turn nugget things. There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Wish I could break those, but no. Take care of that. <laughs> Spin grouping if you oh nice. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Energy gain from headshots. Ah, I'm alright with that. You know what? I gotta use the restroom really quick. I've had a lot of water to drink. I'll be right back, guys.
I mean, Chris Redfield was supposed to die in Resident Evil 6. Like, I, I don't know if you if you guys know that. Like, I see what you guys are talking about. Chris Redfield was supposed to die in Resident Evil 6. I want Chris to die. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Honestly, I am just so tired of Chris Redfield. So tired of him. Um, so he, he, like, my honest, like, full-on honest opinion, he needs to die. I, I think it, he needs to die in order to help progress the story. Um, in the way that, like, his death would bring back a lot of characters. Like, you know, have, have two scenes, and I've said this many, many times, have two scenes, you know, have Chris Redfield die, have two scenes happen. So you got the, the... Uh, the scene at the end of the game after his death, uh, before the credits, where everybody's at his funeral, like all surviving main Resident Evil characters that has been uh, that's interacted with Chris Redfield be at his funeral. So like Leon, Claire, Jill, Rebecca, Barry, like all of them be at the funeral and then have a post credit scene where uh, where Jill is. Rebecca and Claire are together talking um, and now plotting their revenge for Chris's death. And that would lead into the next game and have uh, have the main characters be Jill, Rebecca and um, and Claire. Like, I, I, I feel like that's that's a way to progress the story. And then in that game, have Jill be dealing with her PTSD at the same time from being controlled by Wesker, uh, in, you know, from the events of Resident Evil 5 and from basically being Wesker's experiment, you know, like have her deal with all of that uh, while while they're, you know, they're doing the story or whatever. Like, I, I would love for that, man. I would love for that. That would be the best way to continue the story of the main characters and bring them all together because we have not had a game with Jill and Claire. We've had a freaking game with Claire and Barry, but we haven't had a game with Jill and Claire. Like, dude, please. Please. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I am. Or, or not. I, I thought I was going the right way, but I... Where would it be? Where would the controls be? Like I, I don't I don't get this. Oh, it was right in front of me. I didn't see the prompt. That was my bad. I didn't see the prompt. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Like 100% Jill would spearhead that revenge. Yeah, for real. What about Ethan YZ and RE8 in the first place? I mean, we're going to find out.
I don't mind Ethan. People give Ethan, you know, shit. I don't mind Ethan. You know why I don't mind Ethan? Because we needed a, a fresh new character who's inexperienced to bring us back to the horror. You know, that's that's the thing that people forget, you know? Like, when when you play... When you play Resident Evil for the first time, right? Like, you play the original Resident Evil game. So, Resident Evil 1 and 2. Uh, Resident Evil 1... While the Alpha team, you know, uh, Jill, Barry, and and Chris, while they're experienced, they're inexperienced with the events that happened. So everything, like, you could feel that in the characters, in the way that re they reacted for everything, and, and like, you could feel it. Uh, Resident Evil 2, Claire, 18, Right? She, like, she's a college student. She's inexperienced. She's got no experience in combat outside of what Chris taught her. And she never experienced the events of, of Raccoon City before that. And then you have Leon, who's a rookie cop. Right? So outside of his, his training as a, as a police officer, like, he's not experienced in that either. So, like, you have, you have like, they're, they're fresh to everything. Like, and, and you feel that, again, in the way that the game progresses and the way that the game moves. Um, Resident Evil 3, you don't have that because it's, it's Jill, right? So Jill's already experienced the events of the, uh, the Spencer estate. So because she's already experienced that, she knows what to expect when it comes to the zombies and everything. Uh, granted that, you know, it's Nemesis now, so it's, it's a different bioweapon, but he's still a tyrant. So she's still experienced with fighting a tyrant somewhat. So that, you know, that's why RE3 was more of a, um, was more of an action game as opposed to like horror and then you have the events of code veronica where code veronica again it's with claire who's still like even though she had the experience of raccoon city she's still not like an experienced trained person like chris or jill that's why chris had to go and save her in code veronica but then you get to re4 and now RE4, Leon's like a fully trained, basically secret service, you know, bodyguard to the president and his family. Uh, you know, like, it, that's why he's action hero Leon, you know? Like, it, it's it's a completely different feel for the game because Leon is, you know, he's not the rookie cop that he was anymore. And you go to Resident Evil 5, same thing. Like, it's, it's, it's Chris, you know, he's a fully trained, fully experienced, you know... When it comes to all of the bioweapons and everything like that. So, like, it just doesn't have that feeling anymore. RE6, same thing. Uh, RE7, because it brought us back to a brand new character that is inexperienced, has no real combat training, has uh, ha has no experience with any of the bioweapons or anything. All of that is brand new and you feel it. So, people give Ethan shit, but they did that for a reason. Like, Capcom did that for a reason and I applaud them for that. I, and and the same thing with like Resident Evil 2 remake like it brought us back to rookie cop day you know like it, it brought us back to uh college Claire like you know like their inexperience with all of that and you feel it and it's scary and I love it as <laughs> something that people don't seem to understand Or maybe they do understand and they just refuse to, to. They they refuse to see it as a reason why, the game is the way it is. I felt like that was gonna happen. I was expect. Uh, dude, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Chill. <clears throat> Am I talking about Twitter? No, I'm talking about the RE community in general. What are you talking about? Why 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 are you mentioning Twitter for? Oh, 
Okay, guys, seriously, who wants to help me buy a GPU? My my GPU is screaming. Like, the fan's maxed out right now. Just from streaming this. It's annoying. It's so annoying. Somebody help me buy a new GPU, for real. I needs one. Oh, good. We can leave. There's a freaking... What the hell is that? Helicopter? A plane? A helicopter? What the fuck is that? Which one would I like? 3080, please. I mean, I'll take a 3070, but 3080, please. Like, if you could make that happen, you'd be boss man forever. Like, you would be more boss man than Caboose. No, probably not. But, like, you get the idea. Like, I freaking... I need... I need a new GPU. It's bad. Like, it just can't even handle it anymore, man. Are those even in stock? Man, buy it on eBay. Just do it. Go. There we go. Brogman, what's up? Oh yeah, there's there's that's the the weird store too, right? Uh I like that store scares me. I don't know if it's a legit store or not. Oh that's a lot of people. Everybody chill. What up, big boy? Damn, I made a mess of this place. Hey, what up? Catch. So good we have that conversation. Ordinary AWE. You're listening to America overnight celebrating years. What is that noise? intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events these forces gravitate toward archetypal objects a gun a, a television a supposedly haunted house so oh yeah clearly humanity affects this process our collective unconscious is a clearly a map of sorts we hold the key but we don't know how to use it we create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture urban legends we are observing Scalpers, I know they are. complicated system in action. Yeah, AMD GPUs are out of stock too. It's fucking ridiculous. Just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. 
What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. Sorry, kind of. Kind of like, uh. Or die trying. Kind of like seeing other things, like on, on Twitter and stuff. It's it's funny. Sorry. Preoccupied. My bad. My bad. Ah, oh, what are you doing? That was easy. Easy enough. Like hopefully are actually on stock in other regions. Oh, GPU. Um, I actually think it's gonna be harder to find it there. Honestly, like depending on how my sales go or whatever like not for um for like the dogecoin and all that like all the crypto stuff i i i might i might just freaking pull the trigger and buy a gpu i i need one bad like i i really really badly it's it's that crazy right now like it's it's slowing down productivity for me um it's uh it's causing problems oh dude why did you not I limit by placed. Oh, because I put it too low. Oops, my bad. What did it go down to? It went to the 7 8, 7 9. I could buy a 7 9. Yeah, I could buy a 7 9. Yeah, let's put 7 8. I'll buy it 7 8. Sorry. I'll buy it seven eight and then I'll sell at uh I can sell at like eight five or something. One dude called up my store looking for PS5 and PS4s. Oh PS4s are bad too. Like you can't find PS4s anywhere. No, I wouldn't buy it no, I wouldn't buy a 2070 Super just because they're too expensive. 2070 Supers are too expensive. You wouldn't think they would be, but nope, they're still expensive. What the fuck is going on? What is this? Is this like Godzilla training? So King Kong's gonna come out from this side. And then we got Godzilla's gonna like just roar his ass from over here. From this X spot right here. And then they're just gonna like go at it. Oh, fuck off. Catch. Hold on, gotta collect this. There we go, now we can continue. Superhero is being sold at a price of 27. Yeah, no, they're too expensive. They're bad. It's bad. Not not that the GPUs are bad. The GPUs are not bad. 
I'm saying like it's bad that the, like the price is so freaking high even for the 20 series. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. I'm gonna buy a Switch and stick with it for like a year. Nintendo didn't announce this rumored Switch Pro. I would wait. Um, I would wait for if you care. Uh, they're they're doing a limited or they sh probably will be doing a limited edition Zelda Switch. I would wait for that. Just because like then what you can do later on if they do announce a Switch Pro, you could sell that limited edition Zelda Switch for a good price. That's usually keep the box and everything. Um, that's usually what they do, right? So, like, for example, I was looking for a, uh, a Zelda, um, I think the Majora's Mask 2DS, like the limited edition 2DS. Let me see. Um, I think it's a 2DS console. Or maybe it was a 3DS one. I think it might have been the 3DS one. Yeah, the, the 2DS XL came with... Uh, it was the Highland Shield one. No, I'm talking about the gold one. It was a gold one. Yeah, so the gold the gold console... There, there's, there's, two, there's a 25th anniversary edition one, which is like $200. And then there's the gold one, like 300 sometimes. And then there's the the other one, which is the Majora's Mask one, I believe. Which the Majora's Mask one, actually there's four. Holy shit, they did a lot of them. Uh, yeah, there's four, because there's the Majora's Mask and then there's the other one, um, which the other one is, it has the, uh, it looks like the Twilight Princess crest on it. <clears throat> But I don't have a 3DS. I don't have one. And I've been wanting a 3DS and... Yeah, I don't have the money for it, so it's like, fuck it. Okay, look, look at that. We're in the landfill now. And here we go. Don't move. Oh, come on. Shit, 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 shit. God damn. We should check that lab. Saw a video of a dude microwaving my drawers. Mask edition through the arches. Oh, 
fucking Christ, man. That bothers me because, like, I'm sitting here like I would want one. Because I don't have a 3DS. And you got dumbasses like that. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Good for you. Took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Jesus Christ, Bitcoin hit 48,000. Holy fuck. Is this where I need to go? Oh, this is taking me back to the turntable. The ashtray maze. Ah, all right, we're going back there. No, this way. Where's wait 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 where's my fast travel? Oh I went by I went right by it. Okay. There, okay. Virtual, virtual currency all over the place. Physical stuff are limited. What a weird... Yeah, I know. I know. But... I made 50 bucks off of Bitcoin today. I'm good. Like, I sold. So I was like, yes, give me. Um, it'll, it'll dip back down. And when it dips back down, then I'm going to buy some more. This is not where I need to be. I'm going the wrong way. Big boy. There you go. Ah, there's more. Of course, there's more. And more down there. Are we done here? Nope. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Find Ati the generator. The janitor. So I gotta go to the janitor's office now. Freaking hell. I need a close spot to him. That's fine. Ryu, what's up? I don't know how much time I have left in this game. Like, I don't know how long this game is. I, one, I am not a gaming god. Uh, but I appreciate you. Not where I need to be. Why is that guy just like T posing there? What the what the hell, bro? What is wrong? What is wrong with you? He's just T posing. Say, all right, no problem, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good rest of your night, dude. Central maintenance. I guess it would be central maintenance. No, that is way too up there. No, because that's going to... No, that's taking me to the wrong spot. Shit, where the hell? It's got to be through ventilation then. I haven't been up here. It's fine. Tell me you sure it's dumb <laughs> by T posing. I'm just looking for the janitor's office. Janitor's office. Let's go. Uh, in there. No, Ati. Where is he? Nice 
Naudis poilevt, sette sannov annikki tähti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lomps holiday homes. How can he makes while the building's sealed? No sense. Let alone go on a holiday. Guess I'm about to find out. Woo, big boy. Damn, they just blew me the fuck up. Just like, boom. Gone. Deleted. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You are gone. Nah, usually those guys go down a lot easier, but I guess because, you know, freaking not at the beginning of the game anymore, they're not going to go down easy anymore. Which is fine. That makes sense. Big boy, chill, please. Please. There you go. Um. That's not weird at all. Okay. Claim. Oh, can you not? I hate, I hate, I hate the mold. I hate the mold. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my God, I hate it. Gotten in here too. 
Hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the mold. I hate the mold. I hate the mold. The mold is, is the freaking worst areas. This is what made me stop playing yesterday was the freaking mold. The mold's gotten in here too? Alright. She said we're not gonna Chill. Mine. Go get him. Who else is shooting me, god damn it? Oh, hi. Go fight each other. Welcome back, Nighthawk. Dear Lord. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. You happy, bro? You hit 100k subs. Did he? I didn't even know. I didn't even know he did. That's awesome, man. I'm glad he did. Of course. Give me. Oh, this one's 18%. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. I want the 18%. And then everything else just can buy. Shield boost. I'm not using it though. Yoink. Whoa! 
It's it's the nasty nipples. Okay, so I can I can touch these. Okay. But I gotta figure out how I'm doing this. What am I supposed to do here? Klein, what's up? I guess that's what I was supposed to do. And I got the key. not the key for that door anymore. What's it the key for then? Interesting. It's different now. Oh, janitor. Duh. Where the fuck did we go? Where are we? Who's... Alright, that wasn't so rough. Wait, do I need to go down? Okay. Now where? Huh, I almost feel like I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm in the Black Rock Quarry. Hey, oh, that's not him. All right, all right, everybody chill.
Jesus, can you stop? Like, I'm trying to do something here. But you guys don't want to play nice. Alright, come here, you work for me now. This game's getting like pretty intense on the fights. I like it. I like it. Somewhat. <laughs> no, for real. Like I, I, I'm enjoying the fights. Like the fact that they're they get tense. I like that. To me, when a fight gets tense, or when the game gets tense, it, it adds more to the value of the game. This is taking forever, though. You know what? Oh, I can't jump? I can't jump off. Can I? Can I? There we go. I got tired of it. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? That sounds super creepy. What the hell is going on here? I feel like I'm tripping. in your shop. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. I, I like it how... I'll get you through the maze so you can do your job. I like how it doesn't say Sony. It says Pony. Like the Walkman what says Pony. Did just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. Get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. All 
All right, we got some new abilities. Let's go ahead and do that one. Max up my health, when I, you know, as much as I can. Launch basic enemies when their health is... You know what? That's going to be fun. We're going to do that. Uh, seize duration, levitation duration. We'll do that. Astral Constructs, we're going to upgrade Spin, we're going to upgrade Spin. Oh, I could do more, okay. Um, Here, let's do that. And I can keep going. Fast travel, we're gonna, oh, we can go right back to the maze. Perfect. Because I didn't want to have to go find the freaking maze again. Alright. Oh, time to get demonetized. I mean, music's cool, but yeah, demonetized. Oh, well. Okay, you know what? Freaking best part of this game right now. I swear, why can't the whole game have music like this? Like, no joke, why can't all, like, the whole game have this kind of music? That is awesome. Trippy as fuck, man. I feel like I'm I'm watching a Doctor Strange movie. on this this music just puts you in like a focus kind of mood or not mood but mode i should say oh shit
The only downside, like, I can't really hear the, um, like, when they shoot a weapon. There he goes. Can you not? Like, this is a, such a... Oh, I was going to say, this is such a tight spot. Why are you going to make me fight that thing right here? Thank you for closing them off. That is... That is... Very, very polite of you. Ah, no, he's on. He's up. He's up there. He's up there. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I fell. Oh, no. Here, come here. You're mine. Okay, now Zelda's barking. I got a letter outside. Give me a second. That was freaking badass. I love that part. That was great. Hold on. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. So, those of you guys who are here, I thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Just, like, because this is a long stream. I mean, it's not long, but, I mean, it's it's a long stream, you know? Um. So, since I have you guys here, I, you guys get, like, a, uh, a little sneak preview of, like, what's, uh, what's coming up on the channel. And, um, and so something that's coming up on the channel, uh, I have the, how can I put it? I have the ret uh, the Pokemon retrospective that I've been working on. Um, Ronnie is doing the editing for that. He said that it should be ready tomorrow. I hope it is. Fingers crossed. If it is perfect um i will have him upload it oh shit i forgot to tell him that i wanted a 10k or not 10k i wanted it uh 4k that's okay it's okay um either way he's he's gonna finish that that comes out tomorrow or not comes out tomorrow um if it's done tomorrow he'll upload it for me uh we have uh, so something else that i'm working on because we have it's the 35th anniversary for zelda it's the 25th anniversary for pokemon it's the 25th anniversary for resident evil so I'm gonna be working on retrospectives for all of them. It's gonna take a little bit of time to to do it and put it together. But I but that also means that I need to go and play the games because not so much Resident Evil, but Zelda, like the first Zelda game. I haven't played it in maybe like two years. Uh was the last time I probably played through the first Zelda game. So I need to play through the very first Zelda game again. That was awesome. Thank you for that. <clears throat> the expedition into slides came 36. What darling brought that? Um, Saga, I want you to keep getting better with thumbnails. Like it, it's it's a learning process, man. Why you want me here? Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. You know, like, it's it's a learning process. I want you to keep growing and keep learning how to... Uh, how to make thumbnails and all that. Age of Calamity. I mean, eventually I'll have to play it if I'm going to do retrospectives on them. But I, I'm going to start with the first Zelda game. Because, again, 35th anniversary. There's a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went. Where the projector took us. Where we met bureau open the same door here but there's just an echo now are you close just on the other side hmm. Where do I need to go? Oh, I see a door. <laughs> On it. I gotta say, like I said, it's a, it's a learning process, you know. Projector's not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. I appreciate it, man. I like I said, I appreciate you guys being here. You know. Um. Wait, what did I do? You were four when the first Zelda came out. I was one. Came out in 1986. I was one. 
correction uh, resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of... I didn't ask, Salga. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another. Okay, we, we, yeah, we already finished watching this. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. Projector slide test. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built Was a container that for it. You? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Did you want to see it again? I'm, I'm so coming. confused. Seems like you wanted to see it again. I thought you didn't want to see it. to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is... It's changing me. I... I've seen... I've been shown so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron resonance amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I-I-I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. He's not dead? Is he dead? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm being said one more lesson. Something... Wonderful. He's saying he won't be there, but I'm I'm, I'm confused. Through 
this HRA to lock the door, I have to rip it off to get in. Are you Done. Sure? It's a trap. Come on now. I've played plenty of games to know this is not going to go well. Hi. I made it. I'm getting like such strong dead space vibes. It's crazy. Oh I, oh, I almost died. She gonna say that every time she does that? If so, I'm okay with that. Why is she saying that? Oh, come on. I got rocketed to the face. But why is she saying stuff like get away from her? Like, I, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Are they alluding to the fact that her and her brother are one person? I mean, because they, they already mentioned that. So, I mean, I could see it. You put me all the way back here, you bastard. All 
Oh, wrong way. Oh my god, can you not? Unless the thing that's in there is a is a she? Dodge. I feel like this is like the end of the game. Cause the, the what's going on right now is definitely giving me giving me um end game vibes. Which dodge, aka dog coin. Yeah, right. So, Abby, you played this game before. You can tell me. I, I, I'm okay if you tell me if this is like the end of the game or not. Cause like I feel like it is. That was such a bad idea. I don't even know what I was thinking there. I just kind of just went all over the place there. I don't know why I did that. Entirely on me on that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is this not buying when I tell it to buy? I told it to buy at 7 8. It, oh, because it didn't hit 7. It did hit 7 8. Right? Like, it, it did go down to 7 8. Oh, it didn't go all the way down to 7 8. Okay, okay, okay. Wrong way.
Not quite, you're almost there. Well, I mean, like, I'm saying, like, this is giving me, like, end of, end of the game vibes, you know? Like, I feel like we could finish this tonight. Give me that guy. Give me that guy. Right there. Give me. Alright. Who's the douchebag that was aiming at me? Got you. Oh my God. Oh, what the hell? Somebody just threw a massive satellite dish at my face. What? Not cool, man. There it is. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a quick second here. Uh, this is still dropping. So dog coin or doge coin, whatever, it's still dropping. Okay, so where are you gonna drop to? How far down are we going? It's going back up. Um Okay, I th think it can drop. So what did I just buy at? I just bought at seven eight. Okay, so it's dropping down. It's at seven seven. Hold on. Apologize, guys. Got gotta make some money, right? It's just, you know. Got to. Um All 
All right, so now it's shooting back up, but let me let me set this before like I keep going. Just give me give me a second, guys. I'm I'm sorry. I will be done in just a second here. All right, we're good. I remember SW making this game a piece of cake. Max source ability point. Yeah, well, good for you. Dropping shipping makes good money too. What do you mean dropping shipping? You come here. Help me out here. Help me out. There you go. Can you stop? Stop, 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 stop. This is this is a tough part of the game. I appreciate it too. Ah, I got no abilities. All right. Oh, do they spawn here now? Not freaking cool. Seriously. Not cool.
No, I like I like the challenge. I love games that are challenging. And I mean, I I put it at hard mode. So like, I didn't put it like excruciatingly hard, but I put it hard. So that's on me. But you know, I I like games that you know get progressively hard or progressively more difficult as you progress. I mean, that's that's a good thing. He fell off. Oh, what do you mean the controller battery's low? Don't do that to me. I'm in the middle of something here. Come on. Alright, one down. Get over here. Mine. Let's go. Did I, did I seriously just knock that dude down? That was great. That is not great. Where are they? hell am I supposed to do? There it is. Okay. down and there's nothing there it's just the cell and death i was wrong there was never anything there hello Polaris, are you there 
So confused. I am so confused. You are warm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. Life curls the head. Oh, this is not over. It's not over. It's doing some weird shit. It's not over. Is this? Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau's the best at what it does, protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming, and she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? This game is so weird. You guys are making me hungry. Can you just, like, for real? Thank you. Thank you. Deliver more mail, Jesus. Please give me a chance. I can do better. No problem. You know, you could just program it so you don't have to keep pushing the goddamn button. She dumb. She dumb.
Where is she putting them? Bro, the game is freaking weird. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was changing. That ashtray was changing. How long do I have to do this for? This, is this the final boss of the game? The copy machine? I already did this section! Oh my god. First off, where where did you get the mail from? I've got nothing more. Let me know if you need anything else. Don't let it go to your head. I'll have to be of assistance. Is this like a puzzle that I'm not understanding? No, what the fuck, man? Let me guess the director's her brother. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Oh great. I was just waiting for my mail. Please or not. Take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. What? What is happening? This isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Again? Jesus. Where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. Where am I? What is this? I want to end. Wake up, please. I want to go home. What is going on?
he's just watching me. That door just opened. You should keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Try something. Don't let it go to your head. Forgot something. Oh, look at their bodies. That'll be all. They're like all decrepit. I don't know what to do. Damn, he's having a hard time taking his shit. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do my tasks one more time.
Oh, he disappeared. And there it goes. Doesn't she know how dangerous this creature is? He's unstable. He can tear her apart. We've been invaded. I must act. I have a plan. An answer. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. Burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. <laughs> He's so creepy. I need my gun. The thunder, you are a worm through time. The thunder so storms you. I know what I must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Hello. This is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the Endgame. It will be revealed. All right, as long as there's no snap at the end game, I think we're okay. Okay. Darling's office. Dead, I can't feel you. I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. Something I can feel it, but I don't know what the motel is a place of Power of change a place to pass through connecting everything This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere? I want to go This game is so trippy. Grow brighter. Around one 
constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. So trippy. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Whose idea was it to put white text on white background? Slowly over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the hiss. <clears throat> Just like that. With Hedron dead, the hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. And the whole world is dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. Down. Why am I getting hurt? Staring at her. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. What the hell is going on? Okay, I can only, apparently I can only go on the ones that are not moving. Or not, that was weird. Because that's how it was for me.
Um, how you want me reaching him? We done here? Get out of here. game of the year this year ah uh, there's a lot of games releasing this year so i have no idea Freaking hell, man. Hold on. Hold on. Internet's lagging. Because it's freaking 420, so my internet's high. It's like it's stupid high right now. Like my internet's like, uh, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm dead. That's what my internet's doing right now. I was like, no, nah, I, I, I want to die. And I'm like, can you not like, we're here trying to have fun, trying to have a good time, because you know reasons and you're gonna go and act up on me especially like towards the end of the game so give me a second like i'm waiting for it to just stay green right like it's teetering on green but i need it to stay green so as long as it stays green then we're good so 
Cyberpunk is definitely not a contender for game of the year. Um, they it depends on if you know if they fix it in time, right? Like, I mean, they oh, it always could be. You know, there's always a possibility of 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 the game, you know, getting to that point, right? Like, always a possibility. Probably Resident Evil Village. Nah, it it depends. It depends. I mean, Village isn't out yet, so we don't we don't even know. We don't even know how how the game is gonna go, you know. Why are there so many of these little shits? I have the high ground. God, freaking crazy. Well, that sucked. The truth shall set you free. Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. That wasn't the final boss, together. was it? You? 
and I. No. 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 No, 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 I mean, there's the DLC at least, but no, that's the ending of the main game? Come on. Like, the game is so freaking well made. Like, it, it's, it's such a good, solid game. And you give this shitty ending. Again, I know there's DLC, but... Like, if it wasn't for the, for the fact that, like, this is the Ultimate Edition, I would never have bought... Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought the DLC, and I would have just played through the main game and been like, that, that's the ending that you're giving me? That's, that's stupid. And, and the reason why I say that is because, like, okay. Take a game like Ori and the Will of the Wisps or Hollow Knight, right? Simplistic games in comparison to a game like this. Like, the, 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 desi the design of the games, right? But those games have multiple endings. Depending on your actions through the games, those games have multiple endings. This has just, I just looked up, this game has just that ending and that's it. That's a disappointing ending for such a uh, fantastic game. Might as well skip this because there's nothing at the end. You're the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. The crisis is not over. Your work is not done. Yeah, I know. It's all the DLC and shit that I got to do still. That's so disappointing. At least we had a cool costume, but still. So disappointing. Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. Like, there's not even, like, a true ending or anything like that in this game. It's so disappointing. Jesse Faden. Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. But you 
always knew where we were headed. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench will... I honestly like I'm I'm a little disappointed, man. Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. I'm not playing the DLC. I'm not doing it. Not right now. Like maybe I'll play the DLC on my own, but I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> Bet you're gonna fight a giant alien at the end. Dude, you know, I would have preferred that. I really would have. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, I thought she was going to fight her brother. You know, like, I, I feel like that was something that should have happened. But it just didn't. It didn't. And, God, it's so lackluster ending. Um, anyways, I'm going to head out. I'm going to get some rest. I am, I had fun with the game, but I'm, I'm still disappointed. Still disappointed in the game. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night or day. I mean, it's it's day right now. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys real soon.